we're going to look today at a topic which is a bit controversial, I would say. Um, it has to do with understanding masculine and feminine energies. And we've talked about this lots of times before in the videos. But um, today I'm going to just center and focus on the idea that the masculine energy is the energy that acts on things. It is the physical, it is the lower chakras. The genitals of the masculine are on the outside, the genitals on the feminine are on the inside. So we can see clearly that there is a yin yang balance of the two. So coming together, they create one circuit. But how does this actually work? Well, a lot of people look at events happening in the world and don't really understand why they're happening. And the only way to really understand them is to understand how energy works. It's the only way to really get a handle on what's happening politically, economically, and in the social arena. The literal stage is a, a stage of energy, how energy plays and how what's happening on the planet. Um, I've spoken before about the polarities of the East being more male dominated and female suppressed. And in the West, it's women dominated and male suppression. And they, of course, create these two polarities. This is why the world is becoming more polarized and, um, and it's going to continue to do so until something snaps from both sides, uh, bringing a, a sort of balance into being. So... And we are the balance itself, what is happening within us individually. If you look at the genitals of the masculine, they are literally on the outside because the masculine or male is the outer creator, while the female is the inner creator. She dreams it, she goes, she hunts within, she looks through the womb, she goes into small areas within, into the vastness of the cosmos within, and then dreams something. And then on the other side, the masculine answers the call and then creates it on the outside. Now, if this is the case and we are dreaming things while men are enacting them, that could only mean that we're not dreaming a very good world at the moment because we're not dreaming a world that is in balance. We are, we are living literally in a world that is female dominated. Look at the institutions, the behaviors are going on inside the institutions, uh, the state of the masculine in general in um, everyday living is suppressed. This is the reason why it's kicking back and screaming and causing ruckuses and why there's pedophilia and why there is things like that to such a degree, gangs and all that kind of stuff. So the masculine enacts what the female dreams. It's not to say that the female can't enact, but if she did, she would be accessing the masculine side of herself. It's the same with the masculine. He can dream as well, but that would be just him basically tapping into his feminine side, which is absolutely fine on both accounts, but it's energetic. So currently, because of the dominance of women on the planet being so strong in every possible way, including the fact that you see things that appear that it is the masculine who's in power, but he is really bowing down to the institution of some sort of institution, which is female based. All religions are female based. Religions, churches, schools, these are all female institutions. It's the same thing with institutions that are Masonic, the Masonic temples and things like that. They're all dominated by women from the back, not men. And um, when you dig around into the back of the Masonic symbols and you dig deep enough, you will discover the female symbols all behind everything. The female dreams, the masculine enacts. And because men don't have any power and because they were living and because we are living in the reverse reality where women are trying to contain huge amounts of masculine energy is impossible. That's why you have all the chaos that's going on. 
the female has to be contained and the masculine needs to create that container. So it doesn't work quite how people think it does. So that is why when you have a lot of women working in one place, there tends to be a lot more chaos. It just works that way. Same with the banking institutions. These are all feminine energies, all female. doesn't matter if men are running them. It's a matter of understanding energy and how it works. I'm not talking, um, I'm not making all of this up. This is simply how it works. The masculine needs to contain the feminine world. The feminine is tonal. The masculine is abstract. It doesn't really have a form, really. The female has form and texture, and that's why everything in the world is feminine. Nothing is masculine. So when men are born into this world, they have to create or forge a masculine identity. And if they're not doing that, and there's no guidance to it, you have the catastrophe that has befallen us today on the planet. It is a really hard concept to get. Once you get it, then everything comes to a good understanding. But until people understand that the feminine needs to be contained, I'm a great example of that. I'm not, I, even though I am independent, there still has to be masculine energy to contain me. And the masculine energy that does that is my own masculine side, my male side, because otherwise I'd be running a rampant through the city but that's not happening Um, you cannot depending on the level of the woman where she's at this is also why women fight over men they want to be contained Uh, why and they want to be first and all that kind of thing Um, but and it's also why it seems natural for a lot of men to be with more than one woman because he can contain his world and women who obviously struggle against the containment so they do not want that They think it's control. And oftentimes it can possibly be control, I admit, and that's because men themselves have no direction. So there is no guidance on either side, which is causing chaotic mess. And um, all of this is coming and stemming partly from the fact that we do not have initiations for either a sisterhood or a brotherhood, not that one that's normal. Um, Having pedophile um, sex with children is not initiating children into anything except perversions. So uh, that is not helping with um, initiations. Religions are not doing it. Schools are not doing it. So we have utter chaos and no definitions for either the masculine or the feminine. The feminine thinks it's masculine and the masculine thinks it's feminine. This is how backwards we've become. So women hunt within to find answers. That's the only place you can hunt for answers is within. Men hunt externally. They hunt externally. So they're supposed to be hunting um, the tonal world. They're supposed to be hunting jobs, women, um, opportunities, businesses, travel. They need to access all the powers that they have to expand themselves, expand the universe, to move with the flow, to learn about things, to gain experience. Meanwhile, women are the inner explorers. They're the creators, explorers of dreams, the explorers of the womb, bringing second functions to life, creating, thinking, connecting energy. Um, She's the guide of the man. She is the oracle come to life. She is the sexual wild being that she was born to be. She is not a, a dump or a baby machine. She's not meant to be hated by men, though a lot of men do hate women secretly. She is meant to be held up to a high esteem, but that means she needs to also hold her masculine counterparts, including any children which which belong to the masculine as creations, and they're guided by the feminine. They actually do not belong to the mother entirely. The father creates the externalness of them, the mother nourishes that creation, which is the children. Masculine creates, feminine nourishes, guides, um, supports that creation. Now, if she hates the man, what do you think is going to happen to the children? 
And if she loves the man, then she would nourish him and the purpose of the children that have come within him. Some of us had to break free and learn what our purpose was. What was our father's purpose? Our father's purpose, mine, for example, um, is to empower the masculine. So that's that's my whole life's work is to empower the masculine side and bring balance into both the masculine and the feminine. Well, that would be his. He was that was his intention, even though he doesn't have any idea about it. But it's not really his job to go and hunt for that. It's mine. So in discovering my own path and understanding that the masculine works together. It works as a team to bring about a a goal or an achievement to bring itself out, for example, out of the out of the lack of power that it's been having so far. So so the big confusion in the masculine and the feminine is that Hollywood, the movies, the media, the music says that all women are princesses and that they are queens and this is all bullshit and this bullshit has spread through the whole world and that's why women now think that they are privileged and they take advantage of men in any way they can not everybody obviously but we have a lot of that going on whether it's subtle control or overt control it's still there and it's taken over from it's literally taking over children at a very young age, uh, both boys and girls who are being affected by this. And they are literally, um, this media, the elitists, or our friends in Hollywood love to spread this propaganda, which then instills in us limited belief systems, which we start to to incorporate into our lives look at the stupid words that people use and one minute they're they don't make sense and the next minute everyone's using them um like baby mama or um what other bullshit my bad all that stuff this stuff nobody ever hears about it until they say it in a movie and then suddenly everybody's parroting so um people don't have their own way they just copy what's in the movies and in the media and this nonsense through the number one export of the u.s which is illusion and i will say that the u.s has learned this marvelous illusory projection from the uk which is master at illusion the masters of illusion are in here in the UK, which has Atlantean and dark sorcerer um, connections from the past. So we know that a lot of black magic is being used here, obviously. And the US takes the blame for whatever the UK does. This is just how it's been throughout history. I would recommend reading. Uh, I would recommend reading an, any book by Mark Curtis on the special relationship between the US and the UK and how intensely connected they are and why everything is connected. So little tiny relationships on the base level, masculine and feminine, reflect politics, economics, and social social um, workings. Everything is connected in that way. Just because people can't see it, it doesn't mean it's not connected. So that, I'm going to leave it there for now, just because it's so complicated for people to understand. Masculine, which is the abstract, enacts the stories dreamed by the female. And if you don't believe me, I would recommend going back, looking through all of the symbols that are dominating um, different types of agencies, and you will find so many female symbols behind everything. Highly recommend Michael Tessarian's work on symbology, how symbols are being used in powerful ways to take control of the regular population, which really is has had no idea what's going on. They have no clue. And if they come from countries where there is like no education at all and they're being fed through mainstream media, forget it. Never going to get anywhere with them. This information basically on energy really needs to be with people who already have some sort of concept or notion of yin and yang and 
the inner workings of it. Otherwise, it's just gibberish.